This is a video on how I'm heating my house using an electric hot water tank, a car air conditioner rad, and a commercial fan. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using an electric hot water tank to heat up some water like a boiler. Uh, it's not a very intense heat, but it's working. So what this is doing is uh, it's heating a very old cottage, probably 150 years old. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any insulation, but it's getting us through a Canadian winter. So basically this is keeping this foyer and hallway about uh, 20 degrees and keeping the rest of the house about 15 uh, or 16 Celsius. Uh, what that is in Fahrenheit, I'm not sure. So anyways, let me explain to you a little bit of what I'm doing. So here's my setup. It's very temporary because I'm moving it around all over the place, but I'm actually using gear clamps um, because I lent out my apex crimper. Um, but it's holding the water in, so I got a hot feed and a, and a cold return, obviously. Um, so this fan, which you'll see in a second, is, uh, is very powerful. I picked up for $20 on Kijiji. Um, this uh, radiator I picked up for $50. It comes with uh, the coolant rad and two fans, but all I needed was this. And, um, and then I have a research pump downstairs, which I paid $100 for. And so that's a three-speed pump, and it works fine for this. And then the pipe is very cheap. So let me demonstrate with the fan on. It's, you're not going to be able to see or feel anything, but basically, just trust me that it's, it's pumping some good air. So I leave this, the fan on low setting. Temperature right now is 40 degrees. 42 coming in, 41. And leaving at 36. Or 30. 32, let's say. 40. 32. So this is uh, the basement of the house we're living in. It came with two hot water tanks, the house was sort of divided, but it's unnecessary. And uh, to keep my family warm, I had to do whatever I can. So here's the hot water tank I'm using. Um, it's a bottom feed, so the cold return is going in the bottom. Top, obviously, is connected to this research pump. Uh, it's a Willow brand, it's a three speed, and it's, uh, I have it set to slow, so the slowest speed, so uh, the water has time to, to heat up. Um, now, the one thing, if you're going to try this at home, the one thing I'm noticing is uh, I think there's a temperature sensor near the top of the hot water tank. When you don't have a system like this, um, the bottom of the tank temperature is cooler and the top is hotter. It's, uh, they call it thermal stacking or just how heat rises, that stuff. So uh, when I shut off the fan and the circulator, uh, the pump, the pump is circulating, the, the tank gets very hot, and some of the PEX fitting, or sorry, the, uh, some of the gear clamps start to, to fail at holding water. Um, it might actually get too hot with the pump circulating, meaning the whole tank will get to about 160 degrees or 140, and I think it's, uh, it will make it too hot at the top of the tank. So I keep my fan on low, I keep the research pump on low, and uh, like I said, this is heating a very old house, um, and it's it's doing fine. It's it's a big house, so we're heating a lot of square feet. I think this is using about six kilowatts an hour, and we have peak times. I'm not sure the cost yet, but uh, I'm sure there's formulas to figure out what a hot water tank is using electricity-wise. Um, we have a very small pump and uh, a smaller well, it's, it's a decent fan, but to to get you by. Uh, for all you do-it-yourselfers. I think this is a great idea and um, if you have the resources, try it. If you want to save some money, heat your place in a, a rustic fashion, um, you can maybe even put this type of system inside your existing furnace. Um, you can try whatever you want, I guess. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Um, check out my blog. And I'll continue to post some stuff like this in the near future and appreciate your time.